So uh, this is a 1998 Toyota Tacoma that we did a little bit of modifications to. Uh, if you're familiar with the old Toyota campers, this is a Toyota Chinook made to do a 98 Tacoma. This Tacoma started its life up in Grand Junction, well ended its life as a Tacoma in Grand Junction. I purchased it four years ago now and started what you see now. First things first, gutted the Tacoma, gutted the Chinook. I actually had ambitions to put a big Sun Raider shell on this thing, which are a lot bigger, a lot bulkier, and just quite frankly oversized for the chassis. So we decided on the Toyota Chino. Um, we fully well, we built this thing front to rear, all in-house, minus the canvas. Um, built the front bumper from scratch. This is one of the first front bumpers we built. Got a three inch lift with Eibach springs and Bilstein shocks. Moving back, we had this thing single stage painted, put Dodge tow mirrors on it. Um, we got this sweet accordion seal to seal the gap between the camper and the cab because there is a full pass through between the cab and camper. Um, 33 inch tires with a little bit of offset to keep that stability. Built this rear bumper, um, protection of the fiberglass all the way back, you know, when you're out there four wheeling like we built this thing to be made for. Um, here we have a rear tire swing out. It swings out like so and allows access to the inside. We'll hop on the inside in a minute. Um, there, we're gonna be putting a bike rack here because uh, the lady that bought this actually loves biking, uh, all sorts of biking. So we're gonna get a bike rack set up for her here. Uh, moving around, we have outdoor storage for the dual battery and wastewater dump. So that's all right here. Um, the camper itself is on what you call a torsional displacement system type frame. Um, the camper, the frame is independent of the truck frame. So when you're going over rocks and bumps, your truck frame twists. But you don't want your camper doing that. So in order to avoid that, we used a, it's similar to a three-point mounting system to kind of separate the uh, camper from, this is attached to the frame, which is why you can see it move without the camper moving. Um, we got the uh, upgraded fuel filler in here. And like I said, we got the Dodge tow mirrors. We strengthened the frame all the way back. We actually had to extend the wheelbase around 12, 11 inches. Um, tons of custom work went into this. And, uh, of the cab so come on over inside the cab is your basic 1998 Toyota Tacoma we actually went ahead and put Corbo uh, suspension seats in here just to make the ride a little bit more comfortable this is a road trip tripper after all you're gonna be spending lots of hours inside this thing um, this right here is a scan gauge too it's a live diagnostics of all the vehicle functions and all that good stuff uh, the chassis of this bad boy actually is going on 320,000 miles um, she has a canine as her best friend, as most of us do, like me and my wife. So we got a nice uh, Mexican blanket over the passenger seat to keep it nice and clean for the actual human riders. Um, and if you want to peek in here, you can kind of see the pass through going from the truck to the cab. And uh, we'll go ahead and get back in there and show you what's going on. Behind the seat is also more canine storage because all our friends also have canines. So. We took the rear seats out and did the pass through. So we'll go ahead and walk in through the back and uh, show you the inside of the camper. Right. I appreciate it. Oh. The mic on? Mm -hmm. This time? All right. So uh, we recorded this once, but uh, our mic was off. So now we're coming out here and we're recording the interior bit of this uh, Chinook. Um, it's all put up and stuff. So we'll show you the whole rundown and how you get in, pop the top and all that good stuff. So you know, coming over after your long day of uh, hiking or mountain biking or snowboarding, whatever you're doing, get your swing out, open that. All right, rest gets there. Uh, you unlock your door with the key. It does have a key. Get this open. 
grab this handle handy dandy get up here because it's freaking so tall and once you're in you got ratchet straps on either corner up here you're gonna go ahead and loosen those take them off the lid and once your ratchet straps are down um, i had more in the rear but she obviously doesn't use them but then you'll go like this and you got a standing room so it's pretty sweet so that's it's i mean as easy as that up and down is just as fast i mean it takes all of 15 20 seconds so when you're in here you got this nice couch uh it turns into the bed um this pulls out right here and uh the bottom becomes the section in the floorway or in the walkway and the back becomes a section where the bottom is um under the bed you have drawers right here you've got recovery gear um i actually gave her yep it's still in there a socket set uh when uh she bought this because you all need a metric socket set when you drive a Toyota 3, all you need. Um, right here, there's power outlet just in case you wanted a refrigerator, but she uses an Arctic cooler, which is awesome. Under the cooler, there's a storage under there. Under the sink, which is dirty, excuse the mess. It's been stored all winter, but uh, you got your fresh and gray water. Uh, so storage for some cleaning supplies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, here's your foot pump. We opted out of the power pump for this build it's just super easy just to oh actually water came out it needs to be a little bit more winterized than that but pump this and water comes out which is pretty sweet um like i said you got all that under here the above storage is pretty sweet um store all the extra gear you need up here uh i padded it just in case you know you want a dog to sleep up there or whatever this is where my, our dog slept when we uh, traveled around in this thing before we sold it um, the canvas is a canvas. They made it in Florida. The dude really killed it. I wish he still did them, but he doesn't. Um, but it unzips, rolls up, buttons up, zip it back up. It is cold out here in Colorado today. Uh, we got the stock windows here, both sides still. Um, of course, resealed, so no leaks, none of that good stuff. And then uh, if we switch spots with the camera, oh, and you can see the pass through, goes straight into the truck itself. And then uh, over here, you got your pantry area. You got, you know, plenty of storage, ample storage over here. So that's good. And uh, like I said, there's plenty of storage under here. Um, this was going to be like a coat rack area here in this open corner, but she decided just to keep it open. I believe this is where she keeps her mountain bike. Um, like I said earlier, we're going to put a mountain bike mount on the back. I hope you guys enjoy the tour of this uh, Toyota Chinook or Tacoma Chinook, Taco Nook as we call it. It's the first camper we did um, 35,000 miles later, two years plus traveling, and uh, it's still kicking butt and taking names. So we're really looking forward to sharing future builds with you guys. Uh, stay tuned, like, comment if that's your thing. Subscribe if you want to see more of this. We're going to be doing a lot of camper stuff, going to be doing some car stuff, off-road stuff. We do a lot of off-road. We're trying to morph into the car scene a little bit, but uh, our, your, your past haunts you. And we will probably be doing these conversions for quite a while. So if you like this, go ahead and follow us. And until uh, then, see you next time, guys.